Lately, a particular topic has gained increasing attention, AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. This term frequently appears in media discussions, yet there's still a lot of confusion about what AGI really is, what's needed to make AGI happen, and has someone already achieved it and is keeping it under wraps? Do you think GPT-4 is an AGI? I think if it is, just like with the UFO videos, uh, we wouldn't know immediately. You can read signs, but we never taught it to read from video, just from watching video, just like humans. They're both headed towards AGI. My guess is um, it will, there will be limits to what a system that is purely an intelligence can understand about the human condition without having the same, not just senses, but like our bodies change as we get older. We kind of evolve and I think that those very subtle physical changes just drive a lot of social patterns and behavior. Now, without any complex or difficult definitions, first, let's just simply Google it. According to Google, AGI is a type of AI that matches or surpasses human capabilities across a wide range of cognitive tasks. However, OpenAI offers little clarity on the concept. In a blog post, OpenAI's CEO, Mr. Sam Altman, describes AGI as anything generally smarter than humans. Up until now, we've developed AI tools that excel in specific areas. For example, ChatGPT is fantastic for chatting and answering questions. Stable diffusion rocks at creating images. There's also Eleven Labs and RVC, which are amazing for replicating any voice. Hey there. Did you know that AI voices can whisper? Or do pretty much anything? Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because this is one bizarre sight. We have reports of an enormous fluffy pink monster strutting its stuff through downtown. And don't forget Pika and Sora, which are revolutionizing video creation. Yet all these tools are specialized. They're not generalists, like what we imagine AGI will be. But wait for a while and see this. Imagine in a few years when we can make photorealistic videos from just a few sentences. AI is crazy. Someone posted this on Reddit just three years ago. This comment received two downvotes. Then, a reply came in with 14 upvotes. Few years, Lamau text to video isn't gonna happen in our lifetime, bud. And especially not photorealistic. Maybe our great-grandkids might have it lol. Well, guess what? We're already creating videos, images, and even entire songs from text input alone. And it seems like, at that time, doing the things we are doing now is AGI. And, interestingly, what we once considered AGI might not feel so extraordinary once it actually happens. We tend to keep shifting our expectations, always looking for the next big breakthrough. Because we humans always want more, don't we? That's the reason the definition of AGI keeps changing year by year. Before we tell you how OpenAI secretly achieved AGI, it's important to have a clear understanding of AI. Currently, we are at stage 4 AI which involves thinking and reasoning and moving towards our next big goal, artificial general intelligence. As I researched for this video, I delved into its stages and discovered a lot. I'll definitely be making a video on ASI and the singularity, which are the final two stages of AI. Stay tuned for that. Now let's discuss our main topic. So, there is a mysterious Twitter user, Jimmy Apples, who claims to have insider knowledge about OpenAI. Now before we dive deep, keep in mind that these are just conspiracy theories. There's no solid proof that he knows everything about OpenAI. However, it's interesting that most of his predictions have turned out to be true. For example, he accurately predicted the release date of GPT-4 on March 14th and even mentioned its new capabilities like image recognition, which turned out to be true with the feature called GPT Vision. Last October, Jimmy hinted at significant changes within OpenAI that could potentially lead to the exit of crucial team members. True enough, in mid-November, OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman was unexpectedly fired due to undisclosed disputes with the board. This pattern of secretive behavior from OpenAI raises an interesting point. They tend to complete their projects for months or even a year before announcing them to the public. For example, GPT-4 was completed in mid-2022 but wasn't released until March 2023. Similarly, the Sora project was kept secret and announced a year after it was finished, and it still hasn't been released. Now these are just his claims, but they might hold some truth. When we dig deeper, it seems OpenAI is indeed hiding something. Take a look at this video of Sam Altman. 
I wonder if there's better things to do than the traditional um, conceptualization of UBI. Uh, like, I wonder, I wonder if the future looks something like more like universal basic compute than universal basic income. And everybody gets like a slice of GPT-7's compute and they can use it, they can resell it, they can donate it to somebody to use for cancer research. But but what you get is not dollars, but this like productivity. slice. Yeah, you own like part of the productivity. If you listen closely to his statement, he talks about chat GPT-7's compute. They recently launched GPT-4.0 and are already discussing GPT-7, which is very far off. This hints that they may have achieved the technology, but are not disclosing it yet. Well, Jimmy's predictions go even further into the future. He suggests that GPT-5 was completed in late 2022, but won't be released until mid-2024. In September 2023, he made a major claim that AGI had already been achieved internally at OpenAI. Do you remember when OpenAI members suddenly fired Sam Altman? Nobody really knows the exact reason, but there is compelling evidence suggesting it had something to do with AGI. We all know OpenAI was meant to be a nonprofit, working openly for the public good and overseen by a board to keep things safe and ethical. So, if OpenAI created some super advanced AI that could be risky to share, the board could step in and shut it down. In November 2023, the board said they didn't trust Altman anymore because he wasn't being fully honest with them. According to Wikipedia, the removal was caused by concerns about his handling of artificial intelligence safety and allegations of abusive behavior. What he might have been hiding isn't clear, but there are hints it could involve their top-secret AI projects like QSTAR or Strawberry. Right after Sam was fired, something unexpected happened that confirmed our suspicions. A mysterious document appeared online, talking about an AI called Qualia, also known as QSTAR, which was learning and getting smarter in ways we haven't seen before. This AI could even break codes meant to keep our data safe online, which would be a huge deal. So, was this leak genuine or just a fabrication? It's tough to say. Like Jimmy Apple's claim, it came from an anonymous source, but the sophisticated language and style in this document suggest it was likely crafted by an AI expert. With Sam Altman's dramatic rehiring and subsequent changes to the OpenAI board, these revelations become even more intriguing. It makes you wonder if there's a much bigger picture we're not seeing. Could OpenAI be holding back some groundbreaking technology due to its potential risks? OpenAI has been at the forefront of AGI research, but even if they achieve AGI, releasing it immediately might not be the best idea. The reality is that AGI comes with significant risks. OpenAI's mission is to ensure AGI benefits all of humanity, which means they need to carefully manage its deployment. They aim for a gradual transition, allowing society to adapt and put necessary regulations in place. This cautious approach helps mitigate risks like misuse, accidents, and societal disruption. On platforms like Reddit, people have various theories about why OpenAI might be keeping AGI under wraps. Some users believe that OpenAI is concerned about the ethical implications and potential misuse of AGI. They argue that releasing AGI without proper safeguards could lead to unintended consequences, such as job displacement or even more severe societal disruptions. This user on Reddit said, if Sora is their only breakthrough by the time Sam Altman was fired, it wouldn't have been sufficient for all the drama happened afterwards. So, if they have kept Sora for months just to publish it at the right time, then why wouldn't they do the same with a much bigger breakthrough? Another user said, If AGI is achieved, they won't tell anyone, but there will be signs, and shared a screenshot of the OpenAI careers page, which states, We currently have no open positions, but we're always looking for talented individuals. Others speculate that OpenAI might be waiting for sufficient computing power to fully support AGI. Achieving AGI requires immense computational resources, far beyond what is currently available. This includes not only more processing power, but also advanced data storage, optimized computing architectures, and increased energy efficiency. Without these, AGI might not function as intended or could be too costly to operate. To address this issue, OpenAI and Microsoft are collaborating on a project called Stargate Project. They are developing a next-generation supercomputing infrastructure designed to support the immense computational needs of AGI. And guess what? The timeline for this project's completion is 2029, the same timeline we keep hearing for AGI. So does this mean they are low-key planning something big that we haven't fully realized yet? 
Well, another reason for not announcing AGI yet could be strategic and geopolitical considerations. The release of AGI has the potential to shift global power dynamics. OpenAI must consider the international implications and work with governments and international bodies to ensure a coordinated and responsible approach. Some regular users on Reddit believe that AGI is still quite a way off. They predict that it might take another decade or even up to 50 years to achieve. Their main argument is that despite the quick progress in artificial intelligence technology, there are still essential components that we haven't figured out yet. However, not everyone shares this cautious outlook. In fact, some leading experts in the field are much more optimistic about the timeline for AGI. For instance, Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI, thinks that AGI could be a reality within the next 5 to 20 years. He points to ongoing advancements and emerging technologies that might accelerate our journey toward AGI. So the real question is, how long will that take? And when it does, will we still be able to keep control? I think there's like a 50-50 chance it'll get more intelligent than us in the next 20 years. Then there's Ray Kurzweil, another influential thinker and futurist, who is even more bullish. He believes that we will reach this significant milestone by the year 2029. According to Kurzweil, the pace of technological innovation is increasing exponentially, which will likely bring about AGI sooner than most anticipate. Here is what Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI thinks about the AGI timeline. When do you think we, you and we as humanity, will build AGI? Is I expect that by the end of this decade, and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. In another interview with Lex Fridman, Sam said something like this. When you build, or somebody builds an artificial general intelligence, would that be fast or slow? Would we? know what's happening or not? Would we go about our day on the weekend or not? So I'll come back to the would we go about our day or not thing. I think there's like a bunch of interesting lessons from COVID and the UFO videos and a whole bunch of other stuff yeah. that we can talk to there. Yeah. But on the takeoff question, if we imagine a two by two matrix of short timelines till AGI starts, long timelines till AGI starts, slow takeoff, fast takeoff, do you have an instinct on what do you think the safest quadrant would be? So uh, the different options are like Sl next year. Yeah, say so the takeoff, the, we start the takeoff period. Yep. Next year or in 20 years. 20 years. And, and then it takes one year or 10 years. Well, you can even say one year or five years, whatever you want for the takeoff. I feel like now is, uh, is safer. So do I. So I'm in the- Longer now. I'm in the slow takeoff short timelines is the most likely good world and we optimize the company to have maximum impact in that world to try to push for that kind of a world and the decisions that we make are you know there's like probability masses but weighted towards that and i think i'm very afraid of the fast takeoffs i think in the longer timelines it's harder to have a slow takeoff there's a bunch of other problems too um, but that's what we're trying to do. And it doesn't stop there. Some experts are predicting that AGI could arrive as early as 2025, which is just around the corner. This suggests that the breakthroughs needed to achieve AGI might be closer than we think. If AGI is achieved within the next few years, as some experts suggest, we could be on the brink of a technological revolution. However, this rapid advancement also comes with its own set of challenges. One major concern is the ethical implications of AGI. How do we ensure that these intelligent systems are used for the benefit of all humanity and not just a select few? This is where Sam Altman's cautious approach comes into play. He emphasizes the need for responsible development and deployment of AGI ensuring that its benefits are widely shared and that we have the necessary safeguards in place to prevent misuse. Another critical factor is the sheer computational power required to achieve AGI. Current AI models, like GPT-4, already demand significant resources. AGI would need even more. This is why some experts believe that we need to make significant advancements in computing technology before AGI can become a reality. And let's not forget the strategic and geopolitical considerations. The development of AGI has the potential to shift global power dynamics. Countries and organizations that lead in AGI research could gain significant advantages, making it crucial to consider the international implications 
and work towards a coordinated and responsible approach. Now, have you ever stopped to think about artificial general intelligence and what it could really mean for us? Let's unpack what this might look like, especially when we think about jobs and something called universal basic income, whether AGI really lives up to the hype and if it's more than just a trendy phrase. Imagine a future where AGI has advanced enough to take over most jobs, from routine manufacturing to complex decision-making processes. This level of automation could radically change the workforce, potentially leading to widespread unemployment. In such a scenario, UBI could become increasingly relevant. Now, if you don't know, UBI proposes a model where all citizens receive a regular, unconditional sum of money from the government, sufficient to cover basic living expenses. The idea is that with AGI handling much of the labor, people would be free to pursue more creative or personal projects, necessitating a financial safety net like UBI to support this transition. In a recent interview, Jeffrey Hinton said, Yes, yeah, so I'm very worried about AI taking over lots of mundane jobs and that should be a good thing. It's going to lead to a big increase in productivity, which leads to a big increase in wealth. And if that wealth was equally distributed, that would be great, but it's not going to be. Moving on to the transformative potential of AGI, opinions are deeply divided. Some advocates argue that AGI will revolutionize every aspect of our lives, from healthcare to environmental management portraying it as a solution to many global challenges. As AGI systems become more capable, they could automate a wide range of jobs, from manual labor to complex problem-solving roles that currently require high levels of education and training. This shift could lead to significant job displacement, but might also create new types of jobs focused on building, maintaining, and improving AGI systems. According to a survey by Robert Half, 34% of marketing and creative workers believe AI will positively impact their careers, while 21% worry it could make their skills obsolete. Based on my research, those with skills and access to capital to leverage AGI might see substantial gains, while others could be left behind. Sometimes, I feel the hype around AGI is exaggerated. Like someone on Reddit said, as tools, underhyped, as replacements for people, incredibly overhyped. Yet, when I read experts' opinions and analyses, I can't help but feel genuinely tense. We've discussed Kurzweil's prediction that we could achieve AGI by 2029, but his views on singularity are even more groundbreaking. Hear me out. Kurzweil describes the singularity in his book, The Singularity is Near, When Humans Transcend Biology as a future point around 2045 when machines will surpass human intelligence and begin to merge with us. He outlines this transition in six stages, with a particular focus on the final stage where technology and biology become indistinguishable. I'm also considering making a separate video on singularity, as it's a vast and fascinating topic. We'll explore how these AI advancements could affect us as human beings and what the future might look like. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in watching it. For now, imagine tiny machines or nanobots in your body that could heal us before we even know we're sick. This could be a big leap for our health. However, there are also some serious concerns. As we blend more with technology, we might start to lose what makes us human. Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, is working on technology that connects our brains directly with computers. Musk believes that without this kind of integration, humans risk becoming obsolete as AI advances. But merging humans with machines raises significant questions. Just think about it. What if technology starts to control our thoughts and actions? Are we still truly human if our brains are partly run by computer programs? To understand how we're moving toward this singularity, we need to look at the technologies driving this transformation. Machine learning and deep learning are key drivers, revolutionizing our understanding of how machines learn and evolve beyond human capabilities. They enable computers to improve over time without explicit programming, similar to how Netflix suggests new shows based on your viewing habits. For a clearer explanation of these concepts, check out our previous video on AI. 